Turkish Pass. Here we are. Wow. Jeez, that's incredible. and welcome to Air Rider. Uh, just got here at Glengesh Pass. What a magnificent little spot. Um, just have a look behind me here. What we're going to do in this particular video is I'm going to ride down the pass and I'll record it as well but I won't uh, there'll be no um, there'll be no um, talking effectively and I'll add some music into it as well because uh, there's not many places to stop down there so getting drone footage is going to be very limiting. So we'll experience the whole route. I'll add a bit of music to it so I hope you really enjoy it. And uh, but where is Glengesh? Let's check the map out first. I'll see you in a sec. Right, let's take a look and see exactly where Glengesh Pass is located in the whole of Ireland. We're starting off with Dublin on the right, as we always do, just to get you, you, you to familiarise yourself with uh, the map of Ireland. And then we're going along the M4 route here through Mullingar, Longford, Carrick on Shannon, which is where we're based here. And then we're going all the way through Wild Atlantic Way territory here, past Sligo. We've been to previous points in, and then we cross over from Sligo to County Donegal. We've been to previous points here, Rossnaula Beach, Merva Beach, Mount Charles, Fintra Bay, Macross Head, Sleeve League, Malambeg, and then straight to Glengish Pass, and that is right over here. And so it's located between, uh, or effectively this road here from uh, Sleeve League, the R230. Follow that road all the way to Adara and there's a viewing point right there and that'll take you straight to Glengish uh, Pass and that's where it's located in County Donegal. Well, with the map out of the way, uh, let's get uh, let's have a look around here because there's, there's a bit of information. We've got the Wild Atlantic Way sign here, which is Glengish. There's a bit of information. Let's have a look at the map as well, where we were previously. There's Macross Head, so we worked our way through here and we've cut across. I didn't go this way around. I've cut across and I'm going to turn right back around to head home. That is the particular map and we've got some information here in relation to how this valley was formed. It's basically 20,000 years ago, massive ice sheet covered most of Ireland. The glaciers moved down the valley and carrying rocks and debris. And that's basically how it carved and there's a perfect example of exactly how the valley was formed. Got the sun on my left here so i've just got to make sure i um otherwise you don't end up getting a shadow so the video quality is going to be okay but uh, there's a good look down the valley so we've got our cut here and i just showed you in that diagram exactly how the valley was formed but there's a beautiful pass that's going to wind all the way down and uh i'll record the whole thing so you can see it there that's where it's going to exit and you've got the mountains in the background really fantastic Let's have a look around here anyway. Let's see if we've got some chairs, picnic benches. Little area here so you can stop and take a break, but a marvel at the view here. Okay, let's um, get back on the
going to end the video here. Hope you enjoyed uh, Glengish Pass. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget 90% of my viewers are currently unsubscribed. So to help the channel grow, I need your support on that. So just make sure you subscribe or hit the subscribe button and make sure your notification bells because you don't want to miss any of this, do you? I mean, absolutely fantastic little spot. And uh, there'll be more of this. I've got a great selection of videos for you as well. So make sure you take a look at that. But thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Came over the hill here. Wow, an interesting little spot. That land round here is absolutely incredible. Hmm. <laughs>